back to another video. In today's video, I have got a massive amount of beautifully bright colored gel polishes that I'm gonna use. And I've got a rubber base here. So I'm gonna start with a rubber base and it's called Laos and it's got a gorgeous nude, it's like a nude rubber base. So instead of putting a normal base coat, like the clear base coat on your set of nails, you would use this one in place of it. And as you can see, this one is actually coloured so it's like a nude i mean it's not like a nude it is a nude rubber base basically and i'm going to put this over all of our nails and then i believe it still cures in 30 seconds as far as i'm aware i don't think you need extra time for this one oopsie daisies if i get any little bit, bits of hair i will just pick them off before i cure them because they are annoying the little bits of hair um then right so i've got perfect yellow i've got yellow cab this is more of an orange it's really really nice uh rooftop party loads of colors matty is the blue um pop the champagne is our pinky color and then we've got light lilac as well and i just i love doing a marble and i didn't know what to do today this was actually supposed to be tuesday's video so this was actually supposed to go up on valentine's day it was going to be like an alternative kind of valentine's set but plans changed so this is actually i think it's thursday it's not thursday yet it's only tuesday here um but i think this is going to go up on thursday now so it's a little bit late but it's just I love the colours. So I've put a line of each of my colours on my palette. And then over the top of all the nails, I'm going to put a coat of Blooming Gel. You do not cure the Blooming Gel. Uh, ombre brush. I'm going to use my ombre brush. I know we're doing a marble, but the ombre brushes are great for marbles. So what we're going to do is... I, I wish I hadn't done this bit for this. I, I, because I'm using a lot of colours, I... I just felt like I wish I hadn't done that because, yeah. Um, anyway, so you scoop up a load of your gel and then you float it over your nail with your ombre brush. Because we've got the blooming gel on, that you honestly, you see that nail is going to be completely full up after this. I'm going to leave it like that. Or do I put a bit more pink on? Yes, I do. Or blue, pinky blue that will bloom and cover that entire nail honestly it's going to be crazy so we're going to do all the others and again i'm not going to completely fill them because that blooming gel is going to do the work for us again look you just float it over and i was trying to every time i do an, the next nail i do wipe the excess gel out of my ombre brush because i don't want the colour to end up like a big blurry one colour, you know, blended blur. Can you see that first nail? See how that has just stretched? Oh, actually, I don't think I wiped it off this time. I lied, sorry. <laughs> there we go. So, I look, can you see that first nail? Do you remember how much of a gap there was? Look, and it's completely covered. I'm going to just press a little wipe up against the nail to just remove off any excess. If you have too much gel on your nail, then the light from your lamp won't be able to penetrate through the whole thing. And you'll end up with the top layer of gel pol polish that's cured, but underneath it will be uh, not cured. So it will wrinkle and that's not good because it can peel away and it's just a nightmare. So that's why I remove as much of the excess as possible. For the next part, I'm going to use the flat played brush from Madame Glam. Now, I am not very good at using many brushes other than my detailer brush. I feel like I've just been programmed <laughs> with my detailer brush. So this one gives you like a lot thicker lines and I, I really struggled to get this nice and straight. But I'm using the, I also needed to mix my black gel paint because I don't use my black gel paint as much as my white one. I'm almost out of my white. I have got another pot luckily. But I think where I don't use my other gel paints as much, when I come to use them, they do need a bit of a stir. Um, and I didn't stir this one. I only, I only know that because 
in some places this line looked a little bit patchy and I think it's because I didn't give it a stir so there'd be like some oh, I can't explain it because I don't know the words but I hope you know what I mean so do give your gel paints a stir if you've not used them for a little while I'm just using a an old um, acrylic brush just to smooth down the line just to make it a lot neater and I just dampen that with some gel cleanser I'm using up my gel cleanser at the moment. I've got loads and I've been using isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol and gel cleanser will pretty much do the same thing. So yeah, I'm using up some of my old, I think it's the Neo Nail stuff I've got that I'm trying to use up because I've had it for ages and I thought I might as well use it up. Um, that other nail, once I was happy, I popped it in the lamp and I'm gonna do exactly the same on this nail, but I'm gonna skip forward because it was painful to watch. <laughs> so now I've got my two lines on. We're going to use white gel paint as well, but first of all, I'm going to top coat the nails and I'm going to use the velvet matte top coat. Now, do remember that you don't need to top coat the gel paint because it doesn't have a tacky layer, but I wanted to matte top coat it for this nail. So I'm going to put hearts all the way down the middle and I'm using my dotting tool to make the guide for my hearts and they're going to be one's going to go one way and then the one underneath will go another way and then the one underneath will go back the other way so they're kind of they kind of all look like different angles so i'm going to do that all the way down the nail and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my detailer brush madame glam do have their own detailer brush by the way my detailer brush isn't available anymore but you can obviously use madame glam's that and you just you just make them you just turn the dots into hearts. When I'm doing small hearts, I find it really easy, like a lot easier to use the dotting tool to create my hearts and just use my brush to, uh, just to create those edges. It's just so much easier. So I'm gonna go all the way down the nail. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna grab a little dotting tool. I couldn't find my Madame Glam dotting tool. I don't know what I've done with it. So I do have a spare, luckily. Um, it's, it's this it's just a random one I got off Amazon but I'm gonna put some little dots between the hearts by the way this was this actual heart this line of hearts was in spot hang on I'm just trying to find it before I forget it was inspired by a set of nails that I saw by Quick, 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 find it, Nats. Here we go. Um, oh, I can't see it. I'll leave it on the screen. But it was inspired by them. I saw that and I thought it was nice. Um, so the crystals I'm going to use are from Crystal Parade, as always. I've got these Preciosa Cabochon Navettes. I've got some Preciosa Clear Hearts. I love these. They're so nice. Oh, I love them so much. You can get 5% off using my code NAP5. And these are just black, um, they're jet round flat backs. I've got the um, Rachel Wilder's Crystal Fix. By the way, those black crystals were preciosa as well. Right, by this point, it was almost eight o'clock in the evening and I was tired. So just bear with me on this bit. I, do you know what? I take my hats off to you nail techs that work through the evenings. I, it got to this, it got to the point and I was just like, I just, I want to stop this now and I want to lie down. <laughs> <laughs> I put way too much gem glue on, uh, crystal fix on, so I did have a lot of leakage, um, but don't worry, we're going to kind of sort that out, and then on the heart, I don't feel like I put enough on, and the one, the, the what I did put on sort of leaked out the left side, <laughs> so it yeah, it went a little bit, anyway, I'm going to pop that in the lamp, but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use some matte top coat, and go around the edges of the crystals where that crystal fix is leaking out and that will just mat the gem glue and also it will kind of just secure the the crystals a bit more so <laughs> yeah and i go out of shot here i go a bit blurry and this is literally how i felt looking at, at the nail last night <laughs> 
It's like, oh, yes, it's a bit blurry, a bit blurry. Uh, I wipe the crystal eye over with some isopropyl alcohol or gel cleanse, whatever I'm using at the moment, just to clean off any residue. And then this is the finished set. You can see that the crystal fix is down that. It does look a bit funny, but the moral of, of this uh, story is don't do crystal placement in the evening when you're tired. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you did, <laughs> please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's completely free. God bless. Love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, discount codes below. Love you. Bye.